effect shows up when something tries to travel in a straight line on an object that is spinning. It can help explain the shape and curvature of the winds in our atmosphere and why the winds blow the direction that they do. Our Earth is spinning. This has a huge effect on the way things travel on our planet. Because our Earth is spinning, the winds change direction. Winds would typically travel in straight lines. Then the Earth starts to spin like this. As the Earth spins, it bends the airstreams until they look like they do in the purple arrows. If we tried to take a cannonball and launch it from here in Arizona up to Montana, the cannonball wouldn't end up where the X is. Because the Earth is turning underneath of us all of the time, it would go off on a curve and end up over here. If we were going to do a pencil and paper demo, it would look something like this. Here's the straight line without the spinning. If we start spinning it and try again with a pink marker, you'll see that we are unable to draw a straight line. Our line comes out curved. We can't seem to draw a straight line from one corner of Ohio to the other. Let's try again. Look at that, the same result, a curved line. The earth spinning is what causes the winds to bend, and that is called the Coriolis effect. The Earth isn't the only thing that can demonstrate the Coriolis effect. If we tried to walk across this merry-go-round, our path would be curved because the merry-go-round would be spinning underneath of us. Let's watch what happens when we roll a marble across a stationary Lazy Susan. You can see how it travels in a straight line. Let's watch again, this time in slow motion. This time I'll add red dots so you can see the line clearly. Do you see how straight the line is? Go straight across the Lazy Susan. Now let's add a little spin and see what happens. In slow motion you can see the curve of the ball as it travels across the Lazy Susan. The spin has changed the ball's path. Once we add the line, you can clearly see the Coriolis effect. The spinning of the Lazy Susan took the straight line and turned it into a curved line. Let's take a look at the winds again. We have the westerly winds at the top and then down here closer to the bottom. The trade winds that travel towards the equator are right here and right here. Then we have the polar easterlies. They're not labeled, but they would be down here and up here. Notice that all of the paths have a little bit of a curve in them. Some a little more curvy than others, but they all curve. This is because of the Earth's rotation, and this is the Coriolis effect. Remember that without the Earth spinning, our winds would travel in straight lines like these black arrows. Once we add the spin of our Earth into the picture, the patterns of wind begin to curve. Again, this is the Coriolis effect, and this is what we have been seeing throughout this video.